People often ask what should they have in suhoor meal that keep them hydrated and energetic, and they won't feel hungry throughout the day. People who fast should definitely have more complex carbohydrates rather than refined foods and go for more whole grain versions of any bread that you are having. Complex carbohydrates have a lower glycemic index because they release glucose slowly throughout the day and you won't get hungry soon after eating, then you can go throughout the whole day feeling more comfortable. Food like porridge is very good from that perspective. Keep your suhoor meal light and have nothing fried or nothing fatty as you may get reflux throughout the day trying to digest a heavy meal. It is recommended having a form of light protein, such as eggs, fish or nuts. Since Ramadan is 30 days of dry intermittent fasting, it is important to keep hydrated all day. Cut out the caffeine if you can, because it can be dehydrating, especially things like coffee or too strong cup of tea. Tea would be fine but try to avoid too much caffeine. It is a good idea to have porridge in the morning with the fruit, and perhaps a boiled egg. What should you eat for iftar? Iftar is the evening meal, and after a long day of not consuming anything, many people opt for a heavier traditional feast. However, keep slow so you are not eating a large meal very quickly, as you can get a shift in your electrolytes after not eating all day. Start slowly, perhaps with some fruit or some dates, then go on to maybe your starter and then your main meal so you are breaking it down. What type of foods should we avoid? Many people opt for heavier traditional foods when preparing their iftar, as after a long day of not eating, having something dense sounds delicious. But is that a good idea? Processed food isn't a great idea because of all the salt content. You are probably already dehydrated and then you are putting more salt into your system, so that is not a good idea. Keep it to more simple foods, whole grain foods if possible. Regulating your eating and eating the same way as you would normally do, like the same calories, the same amount of protein, but do it over two meals rather than three meals. You should not be eating a big feast at the end of every day. We want to get people to think about what they are eating. If you are eating a big meal very quickly, you are not going to allow yourself to drink anything as you are probably going to be a bit dehydrated, so think about your fluid intake alongside your solid. Just think about what you normally eat, but in a healthy way rather than a festive way, so not having too many foods with salt and sugar and additives. Keep it simple in the healthiest way possible by involving lentils and beans and protein. We can't underestimate complex carbohydrates as people can suffer from simple things like constipation when they're fasting because they are eating very refined foods and not drinking enough. So think through what you're eating and try to keep it on a level to what you would. How to stay hydrated during Ramadan Sometimes it can be hard to drink a lot of water in a limited amount of time. It is recommended pacing yourself with drinks and food, but also to go for fruits such as watermelons and soup. Coconut water is also quite rehydrating, so when you are thinking about what type of juice to have, ask, is it something that hydrates you, by thinking of the food and fluid you are having and planning your meals properly, that helps with your fasting so you can focus throughout the day and get through your day. If you have any conditions or are diabetic but want to fast, speak to your doctor or dietitian. Definitely plan, it is not that you can't fast, but you do need to plan as fasting depends on the individual.